How you doing, Jersey? Welcome to the Star Ledger Newsroom, Wednesday, July 30th. You know, a disturbing story out of Bloomfield today. A guy frustrated by the amount of late payment notices and credit calls he was getting from a rent -a center in Bloomfield walked into the business yesterday and set himself on fire. Police say that he doused himself with lighter fluid and lit it. Now, these rent -a centers have been criticized for charging pretty high interest rates, and a lot of their customers are very poor. A spokesman for the company says they are, quote, concerned about the gentleman. In other news, reaction to the sentencing of Newark, former Newark Mayor Sharp James yesterday is pouring in. James yesterday was sentenced to 27 months in federal prison and his former girlfriend Tamika Riley got 15 months. We have sampling of opinion, uh, some reaction from two very different corners of the media world here today on Ledger Live. The first from a blogger and the second from a cartoonist. This first piece comes from Ken Walker. He's the creator of the blog The Daily Newarker, and he makes the point that James is the third consecutive Newark mayor to go down on corruption charges. Check it out. Newarkers suffer from a poverty of hope. Cynicism permeates the city, leading many Newarkers to ask, why wouldn't Sharp take care of one of his own? This attitude is just starting to chip away as the third oldest city in the nation is beginning to see signs of a revival. Look, rest assured, Sharp will get his perp walk, and Chris Christie will maintain his impeccable record, and the city will even get back $127,000. But justice? The sentence is too short to account for the crime and too long to keep Newarkers from thinking the establishment is still trying to hold the city down. Now all it is is just another reminder of the city's torrid history of corruption. For The Daily Newarker, I'm Ken Walker. Thanks for that, Ken. And listen, bloggers out there and everybody else, if there's something going on in your neck of the woods and you've got something to say about it, fire up the webcam and bring it to us. It's always going to be better to uh, look at your face than mine. And this next piece of reaction to the Sharp James verdict uh, sentencing rather comes from Drew Sheneman, our Star Ledger cartoonist who has a uh, cartoon about t the sentence in today's Star Ledger. Check it out. We'll talk specifically about the drawing. And I'll say, sure. So you got you got you got a, a husband reading the paper. You got a wife. Um, you know, is, is this what you think the average person is lead, reading into this sentence? They're picking up and having this reaction. Well, I mean, if you read some of the comments uh, after the verdict yesterday. Uh, you, most people thought it was pretty light. Most people are pretty cynical about the state of politics in New Jersey and the way the politicians behave. Um, so, I mean, it, it, is there any lesson learned from this on the part of the uh, other politicians in the state? Who knows? I doubt it. Um, but, you know, then again, maybe I'm just being cynical. It's kind of my job. All right, I'll admit this. When the editors came to me and said they had a video about a pipe organ, my eyes kind of glazed over. But then I checked out this next video about the uh, pipe organ in the Ocean Grove Great Auditorium, and this thing blew my mind. It's got 10,000 pipes, uh, it's 100 years old, and there's a big concert going on tomorrow for the centennial. Here's the video. This summer marks the 100th anniversary of the Ocean Grove Great Auditorium's pipe organ. Organist Gordon Turk and curator John Shaw have put together a schedule this season filled with tributes and celebrations of the instrument's centennial. So in 1907, the director of music at that time, who was a Welshman, uh, he convinced the Board of Trustees to install a large pipe organ, and that was installed in 1908 by the Hope Jones Organ Company from Elmira, New York. So the organ has grown in size from about 1,400 pipes to its present size, which is 10,823 mm -hmm. pipes. And this organ, probably in size, is, in terms of number of pipes, is somewhere in the top maybe 30 organs of the world. It's not the largest, but it's so large that um, there aren't lots of them like it around. When they tune, they have to tune every single pipe by hand. Each pipe um, is gone over for its volume, for the way it speaks, to make sure it speaks precisely and accurately, and that it blends with its neighbors. The 
other big concert that we're going to do this summer that's part of the centennial celebration is going to be on the last day of July, 31st of July, also Thursday. And in addition to that, we have recitals on Saturdays and on Wednesday nights in July and August. coming in in our NJ.com news blog, the story about this guy who set himself on fire in the rent center Tragic story is drawing uh, quite a few comments. Dark Girl X says, I agree that some creditors are inhumane and harassing, and given today's struggles, we may see more of this. I personally would sit in an empty apartment until I were able to afford what I needed as opposed to going to any rent -a center or the like. They're an extreme ripoff, and most people don't realize it. Well, that wraps up today's show. Listen, let's keep in touch. Send us your photos, your videos, your emails. You can shoot it to us at ledgerlive at starledger.com or log on to our news blogs at nj.com and sound off there. All right, Jersey, take it easy.